superstar of Bangladesh cricket. He's played like a superstar today. The world's best all-rounder, Shakib Al Hassan. Speaking of Shakib Al Hassan, that's the big headline from around the world this past week that he's been appointed captain of the Bangladeshi side for the Asia Cup and the T20 World Cup. Do you see this Bangladesh side thriving under his leadership in both these tournaments? Absolutely, Bang Bangladesh. To better have a leader of, of Shakib's um, quality is just—it's going to be. I think it's going to re-energize them. He's so experienced. He's captained Bangladesh a lot of times before. He's captained a lot of franchise tournaments as well, especially in the in the Bangladesh Premier League. He's just so experienced. So his decision making under pressure for all his teammates is just going to be so invaluable. And and he's got a point to prove as well. And when there's a world class cricketer with a point to prove and some fire in his belly. <laughs> they normally dominate, so I'd be very surprised from a performance point of view that he doesn't dominate this, um, this T20 World Cup and the, and the Asia Cup, but also as a leader, again he's got a point to prove to show that he, is, he really is the man and all his experience he'll be tapping into and making sure the younger, the younger players in particular in the Bangladesh team are going to be in great hands, so um, I'm stoked for him, it's going to be a great opportunity for him again to be able to take the lead and, um, and really do great things in Bangladesh cricket. On an individual level, uh, he's seen incredible success across the three formats. How difficult a feat is it uh, to achieve? <laughs> yeah, tough. And I know from just um, my perspective with the games that I played in international cricket in particular, as an all-rounder, it's, it's very challenging. Um, especially when you're playing day in, day out, to be able to physically look after yourself, conserve energy, um, and also from a batting point of view to be able to have the physical and mental energy to be able to sustain over a long period of time and that's what Saki Ball was saying has done and it's it's so hard and I, yes being an off spinner, um, a left arm orthodox spinner means that it might be, it might look from the outside to be a little bit less physically demanding but especially in, in the subcontinent, subcontinent conditions he's bowling a lot and then he has to go out and he's one of the main men in the batting lineup as well. Um, and for him to be able to play across all three formats is something that's very special. And it's going to be, with the amount of cricket that's on nowadays, franchise cricket coming in as well, it's going to be very, it's, it's going to be very rare to be able to see anyone play all three formats and as successfully as Sakib has. To be able to average well over 30, like mid, late 30s in, in just about all three formats with, with, um, with the bat and under 30 um, with the ball, across a huge, you know, across 15, at least 15 years is something very special.